Hi guys, I'm back with another video and in this video we're going to break down the RC or the reading comprehension and we are going to go over strategies and material to nail this section of the GRE. So as you might already know, the reading comprehensions carry 50% weightage of your overall GRE verbal. So at, out of those 20 questions per section, right, in one verbal section you have 20 questions. Out of those 20 questions, 10 will be reading comprehension or at least 9. So 9 to 10 questions will definitely be reading comprehension and there's definitely a good chance for you to score marks in these questions because there's a sure shot way. I mean, you can learn to do these questions, right? You can learn to solve these passages. So before we get into this, the best resource I would like to share with you is Manhattan Prep Reading Comprehension and Essays book. This is going to be one of the books among their 8 book series. And this particular book is definitely worth buying or you, you can always download the ebook or you can just ping me, you know, reach out to me on my Instagram or my email ID and I will give you the access to these books. So Manhattan Prep has one book for reading comprehension and essays. This book has a really good description of the reading comprehension questions. They also show you how these questions are asked, what are they looking for, you know, what these passages contain, what is the structure of these passages, what is the structure of the questions and how you can tackle them, right? There's, I think, a seven-step uh, process which is used to tackle these reading comprehension and you will find that in the Manhattan Prep book. I highly recommend you to get that book and go over the reading comprehension uh, ideas and techniques. So it will definitely improve your score because I know that, so before going through this book, my accuracy on the reading comprehension was around 60%. And after going through this book, my accuracy increased to 90% plus, right? So I was getting a lot of correct answers, you know, once, once I read this book, my accuracy increased to 90% and you know, up to 100% sometimes. So I would definitely suggest you to go through this book. It will definitely help you to improve your reading comprehension skill. Okay. Having said that, we are going to go over the section and we are going to see what kind of passages you get and what kind of questions you get on this. All right. So first thing that you need to take in mind is the length of these passages. All right. So. The length of these passages can be as low as 80 or 100 words and it can be as high as 400 to 450 words. Alright, so the smallest passages of these reading comprehension section will be a paragraph, right? It will be 80 to 100 words. It will be just a paragraph which will likely be an argument. Sometimes this question will be the paragraph argument question in which they'll ask you if any of these options were right. So suppose, so you will have a list of options and you will have to assume that this is true and you will have to find whether it weakens or strengthens the argument. So the question will be something like which of these options if true strengthen the argument or weaken the argument. You'll have to find out the loopholes or the assumptions that are made in this argument and you have to use that knowledge to go over these options and figure out which option best weakens or strengthens that argument. Okay, so the next kind of uh, passage will be you know a medium length passage which will be around 200, 250 to 300 words. This kind of passage will have three questions, two to three questions and you will have different kinds of questions from this and the long passage which will have up to four questions. So the longest passage will be 400 to 450 words and this will have three types of questions. The first type of question is basic multiple choice questions that right? you will have five options. You will have to choose the right answer. Okay, this is the most basic and most frequently occurring question types. The other question type is multiple answers. So in this you will have three options and you will have to choose which of these options are right. So one of them may be right or two of them may be right or all three of them may be true. So in that case you will have to choose all three and you need to choose all the correct answers in order to get marks. So this is the second type and the third type is kind of rare but you will still find these questions on your GRE verbal. It will be select a sentence in the paragraph that describes this or you know something like that you'll have to highlight a sentence so when you mo uh, move your cursor to the paragraph it will highlight that sentence and you'll have to choose the sentence which answers that question so in this you will use your mouse to pick that sentence and the right sentence get you the marks all right so these are the types of questions you will get on rcs now coming to the strategies what i think is the most basic strategy is you need to improve your reading speed right there's no shortcut to this you have to have to be able to read these passages quickly and I would say improve your reading speed to an extent where you can completely read the uh, 4, 450 words, the long passage in 3 to 4 minutes. You have to develop this speed by reading a lot, okay? And for this I would recommend you, you, you get into the habit of reading. So you can do one thing, you can read these blogs, you can read online news and stuff. 
So try to read these articles completely within less time. Okay. And in order to, uh, so if you want to get content which is similar to the GRE content, you can read the famous American resources like New York Times or The Economist or stuff like that. That will have similar language and it will also help you to improve your comprehension or the understanding of that passage. But basically, if your reading speed is good and your vocabulary is good, then your comprehension automatically comes, right? So you are reading the whole passage quickly and you're understanding these words. They're going together and you comprehend the entire passage, right? So that's the strategy. All right. Another strategy that I can suggest to you is some of you might have difficulty reading. I mean, the entire passage. In that case, I will tell you the most important points that you need to take from the passage, right? What you will do is... You know, read those specific parts of the passage which are going to be the most important. I can tell you that the first paragraph of the passage is going to be the most important because it will introduce you to the passage. It will introduce you to, to what's coming next, what the passage is about and it will really help you get a gist of what you're going to read next. So what will happen is if you read the first paragraph completely and understand it, the next paragraphs become easier to read. On the next paragraphs, you can read the first and last line. And basically in the first line, they might present an opinion and in the last line, they might give evidence. In between that, they will explain their opinion, which is not that important when you're having a time crunch. All right. If you have the time, definitely read the entire paragraph. However, if you don't have the time, then you're going to read at least the first and last line and skim through the middle. Right. So that's how you're going to do it. Also in the last paragraph, the last two or three sentences will contain very important information in which the author might give his opinion or the author might give you the summary of the entire passage, right? There, there will definitely be a question on your reading passage, which will say, what is the purpose of that passage? Or what is the overall meaning of that passage? Which, which means that it will ask you what the passage was about. So you need to know what the passage talks about and that will help you in uh, answering this question. All right. So one of the most important things that you need to understand is it's not important for you to have any prior knowledge of what you're reading in the passage. So let's say you're a computer engineer or a computer science student. What will happen is that you're going to get a passage of some, some obscure subject like geology or anthropology, right? So you don't know anything about this and neither does anyone else. So I would say at least 90% of the people don't know these subjects. Some of them might get lucky, right? They're a biology student and they get a passage on biology. They might have some background which might give them some edge. But in reality, it makes no difference because every answer that every question that you get on the RC, the answer is definitely going to be there in the passage, right? It's like it's impossible for them to ask you something that's not there in the passage. Yes, there will be an inference question, but this inference question will be something like you read something in the passage and what do you infer from it? It will be very obvious. It will not be something like you have to be a scientist to understand right? It's not rocket science. It's basic English. Defense question will not be very difficult. It will be pretty obvious from what you read in the passage. So uh, you don't really need any external knowledge. So whatever you read in the passage is going to contain all the answers. So make sure you read it carefully and make sure you understand the passage. So you're in the best position to answer each of these questions. For more details, you can go back to the Manhattan Prep Reading Comprehension Guide. It's going to give you the answers to all your questions and it's going to help you improve your reading comprehension score. Also, many of you have been asking me why I'm not wearing these glasses for these videos. So uh, it's funny because uh, I don't really have spectacles. Uh, I have these glasses. They are not spectacles. They don't have power. But why I use them is uh, they are anti-glare and they are blue light blocking glasses. So I spend a lot of time watching screens, right? Like my phone, like my laptop. So these glasses help me to block that blue light. These are blue light blocking glasses. So it doesn't strain my eyes that much. It doesn't make my, I mean, I don't get a headache of long hours of uh, using the screen, right? So that's why I use these glasses and you know, it's optional, right? I don't really need them. So that's it. So that's it for this video. And if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe and share the video with your friends so that everyone gets the most out of this, right? That's the goal. So, I'm going to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.